This program is made by the volunteers at Math Circle Online. Please join us to explore the wonders of math. Hi, I'm Oliver Jang, and today I'll be showing you how to solve problem number 24 from the 2015 AMC 8. So, the problem reads, a baseball league consists of two four-team divisions. Each team plays every other team in its own division and times. So, that means that team A1 will play against A2, End games. It will play against A3, end games, and will play against A4, end games. Okay? So each team plays every team in the other division, end games. So A1 will play against B1, and different times. A1 will play against B2, end games. A1 will play against B3. M games and against B4 M games. So um, N is greater than 2M, so let's write that down. N is greater than 2M and M is greater than 4. So we know that each team plays 76 games schedule. So um, that means that the total number of games that a1 plays will be 76. So within its own division, it plays three N games. Okay, and in the against the other division, it will play four M games. So together, this forms the total number of games that A1 plays. So this number should equal 76. So we are looking for how many games does a team play within its own division. So Within its own division, it will play three N games. So let's just write that down so we don't forget. So we are seeking to find what three N equals. Okay, so let's rewrite this equation up here. So three N plus four M equals 76. So we know that N is greater than two M. So that means we can substitute 2m into here as long as we account for the inequality. So 6m plus 4m is less than 3m plus 4m, and that equals 76. So we know that 6m or 10m is less than 76. So that means that n is less than 7.6. We also know that n is greater than 4. So we can say that n is greater than 4. So this leaves us with three different possibilities for n. So n can equal 5, m can equal 6, and n can equal 7. Okay, so at this point, we have narrowed our possible choices to only three different answers. So it's quite simple to just guess and check. So in a competition, you might want to do that. However, um, we are going to try a more rigorous solution. Um, so um, looking at the original equation again, we have that 3n plus 4m equals 76. equals 76. So we know that n and m are all integers. So um, that means that 3n is equal to 76 minus 4m. So because we know for sure that n is an integer, this number over here must be divisible by 3. So we have that 76 minus 4m is congruent to 0 mod 3. Okay, so this is equivalent to saying that 4m is congruent to 76 mod 3. So we can divide both sides by 4. And we have m is congruent to 19 mod 3. 19 is 18 plus 1. 18 is a multiple of 3. So we know that m is congruent to 1 mod 3. Okay, so now we look at our three different choices. 
which one of these is congruent to 1 mod 3? And 7, 7 is equal to 6 plus 1, so 7 is the only one that is congruent to 1 mod 3. So we know that m equals 7. So now we can solve for 3m by plugging m back in. So we have that 3m is equal to 76 minus 4m, which equals 76 minus 4 times 7, which equals 48. Um, we are looking for, once again, we are looking for 3n, so we do not need to solve for n itself by dividing by 3, so our final answer is 48. So our answer is b, 48. Thank you for watching.